Yeah, welcome back fellow plane, uh, plane builders. So I got really excited because I finished one of my gas tanks. Um, this was a fairly difficult part to fabricate. You can see these ribs only have a five millimeter flange on them. Uh, the lip where this gets welded at only has a five millimeter flange on it. So these were relatively challenging to fabricate. The hard part, of course, though, was was basically skinning it. Um, the uh, there's a few gaps here that'll draw tight and have to be filled with welding or uh, filler material when they're welded, which I will not do myself. I'm going to have that hired done, but uh, getting the skin to lay properly around the ribs was difficult because these are uh, plans made ribs. The right and the left one aren't exactly the same. They're you know maybe off by a millimeter here or there. And of course I'm using a DIY bending brake, which means that my bends aren't 100% square and lined up and all that jazz. But this turned out very, very good, I think. Um, there's a little bit more of a gap up here than I'd like, but uh, that actually happened because I, um, when I cut this to length, it, it bent back. So I've actually got to hand seam that down just a little bit and that'll draw that gap down tighter. But overall, I'm quite pleased. I'm hoping that the, uh, the guys that are gonna weld this don't have any issues with my work um, the skins can draw down tight to the you know ribs and everything seems to be good there so the way that I did this was after I fabricated the ribs I cut a 20 millimeter wide test piece approximately the length of the skin and then very painstakingly laid out the measurements now if you bend it to the measurements in the drawing, you'll be off because of course, if you're off by a millimeter or two here or there, the measurements won't line up. So I started with a five millimeter uh, flange here. And the way that I made that was I had to bend 20 millimeters over because I can't clamp five millimeters in the brake. So I bent 20 millimeters over and then trimmed that later. And that's what ended up causing this uh, flange to be off on the angle a little bit is bending it and breaking it off and filing it so it, it has to be bent back into position like it is on this piece. So I started with that. You bend that the opposite direction of the rest of the bends. Um, I put in a measurement, bent that, tested it against the rib. That one was good. Made a note of it. Did the same thing down here. Bent it, tested it against the rib, made note of it. That was good. And then the same thing all the way around. When I got to the part that overlaps for the weld um, here, I actually just left that long. And once I had all the, the tank clamped together in the proper alignment, then I just marked it and cut it off. I had the tank upside down at the time. So uh, this took me about, uh, or in the neighborhood of about two and a half hours to do when I had the, the ribs already finished, the ribs had already been done. I did those a long time ago. So um, the ribs were done and just to lay out the skin, bend it in my brake, get the tolerances right and everything else took me about two and a half hours. So the only thing that's left is gonna be to cut the, cut the filler neck uh, holes, uh, drill the drain fitting holes, and uh, let's see, there's a fuel line holes, uh, drain fitting holes and the filling. Holes. So once I drill all those, I've already got the fittings for those. I'll take it to the welder, uh, have a bunch of scrap material for them to practice on and get their machine calibrated right, and then have them go ahead and weld everything into place. It's going to be interesting how it turns out because of the fittings that go, the dr uh, drain or uh, fuel, fuel lines and the return line fittings and the drain fittings are all real thick, heavy aluminum material they're 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 very robust uh, because they have threads in them and everything and they're you know a good three quarters of an inch deep but the flange that gets welded to the hole is very thick I mean a good solid I would say at least a quarter of an inch if not if not more so it'll be interesting to see how the welds turn out when they're welding a thicker flange against a, a piece of 25 thousandths these these fuel tanks are fabricated from 25 thousandths uh, 6061 so hopefully they do a good job because this was not fun to fabricate and as you can see it's a lot of aluminum uh, if I have to make it again it's gonna you know cost me quite a bit of money uh, to, to fabricate this all over again but hopefully be, hopefully we'll be in pretty good shape and uh, everything will turn out but pretty excited pretty happy about this 
and I just wanted to show you guys. I didn't shoot any video of me taking it because it's, it's really it's just four bends and there was a lot of figuring and working stuff out with the dimensions, but uh, overall pretty pleased. Thanks for watching and good luck with your projects.